What a difference a year makes. When we gathered for last year's annual Martin Luther King Day celebration, the 2020 presidential campaign was just gearing up. It was just before this deadly pandemic started sweeping our nation and just before the terrible murder of George Floyd that focused the eyes of the world on how racism continues to infect our country. And that supercharged one of the most important movements in our history, the Black Lives Matter movement. I spoke with you then about how privileged I felt to serve in Congress with someone who I think reflects Dr. King's legacy better than anyone I've ever known, the great John Lewis, and how his leadership and friendship inspired me. We talked about the 2020 election being an historic inflection point where the heart and soul of this country would be defined because we knew our opponent was not just Donald Trump and his terrible policies, but also the war on truth, facts, and decency, and that old familiar opponent, racism. As we celebrate Dr. King's legacy this year, we're obviously still reeling from a deadly pandemic that has not only taken the lives of 400,000 fellow Americans and turned our lives and economy upside down, it's exposed racial inequities in health, education, and housing. It's challenged us to build back better. Even though we passed historic legislation out of the House last year to address the scourge of institutional racism and police abuse, that died in the Senate. And so our work continues. The BLM movement remains vital. And we can continue to draw inspiration from John Lewis's remarkable life, but we lost John to cancer last year. So we're gonna need many new leaders to step up. As terrible as this past year has been, we can take heart that our country got some big things right. Voters turned out like never before to repudiate the ugliness of the Trump presidency. We defeated him by over 7 million votes. And the people of Georgia overcame decades of voter suppression to turn out in record number and elect two Democratic senators, including the first black senator in that state's history. Just last week, we overcame an attempted coup by racist domestic terrorists. And within hours, I was back on the House floor with my colleagues to certify the election of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, the first black vice president in American history. A few days later, we put an exclamation point on the end of the Trump presidency by making him the only president in American history to be impeached twice this time for inciting insurrection, and it was the most bipartisan impeachment vote in history. We have enormous amounts of work ahead. Dr. King's dream of equality and justice has always been aspirational, just like our creed of forming a more perfect union. will never be done. It'll always be a work in progress, but I'm honored to undertake that work with all of you and wish all of you a safe, peaceful, and purposeful Martin Luther King holiday.